Hey, what's up, guys? Man, what a nice day it is today. Look at it. Just look at it. Hey, what's up guys? Man, nice day today. Sun shining, light breeze, gonna be 76 today. Here the birds are singing, butterflies are out, and uh, hopefully it'll be a pretty good day. Now I'm standing here, <clears throat> I'm standing here in front of this gorgeous piece of machinery, 12, and uh, you know, I've been wanting to make this a real flat top since I got it. And uh, I intended to do this job yesterday, but other stuff came up. There was a mess that needed to be cleaned up, and I needed to get uh, Black Betty's frame rails cleaned up, get all the crap out of there so that I could work on that uh, and get the sandblasters over here to sandblast that chassis. So I got that done yesterday, and today I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to turn loose the bolts, and I'm going to see about taking these upper fairings off and then get the bolts out of that big old air grabber and uh, yeah go from there so let's get up there let's take some tools up there let's see how those bolts come out uh, let me grab a little bit of penetrating oil and we'll get up there and get after it Not a very good climber. I thought that was going to be a good ladder, but it's not. We're going to get a ladder and put it right here. Be right back.
So this thing's gutless. These are not going to come off. So we're going to try and get else. Ah, dang it. Here we go. We only got three more on that side, four maybe. And I think we got about the same amount over here. Uh, three across the top and this one. I'll get this one first. Since I'm down here. I don't know if this one's a... That's a 916, so... Most of these bolts have broken off, which is good because... I didn't want to have to fight them, you know? Oh, that's uh... Okay. Uh, hmm. huh. All right, let's just take those top ones off. Then I'll get the cutoff wheel out here and nip those off. Unfortunate. I don't think I can get on that in the back. Nope. Cut off wheel. Irritating. Nothing but trouble with the POV camera today. Torquing my bolts.
don't think that one's off. being covered and covered and smothered you know what I mean all right half inch Yep. Being kind of a prick, these these bolts have uh, paint on them, and then they don't want to uh, come off. So we have to pry them off a little bit, and then and then work the socket back on. It's a little annoying, but it's only six bolts. Hopefully you're watching. This camera is being dumb today. I don't know what's going on with it. Thanks.
stop laying on this gross crap get something done got one more to go over there two three more to go over there Hopefully you're still recording. I gotta go put the other camera on just in case. Ugh. Oof. <sighs> yep, we got fiberglass all up in us. Nice hot sweaty day, perfect. We have the remedy for that though, so Maybe I'll teach you that. I try and keep that a secret though. We're going to save these wings because I think they're uh, good stuff. So we're going to just slide them over here. They're pretty, pretty stout. And then we're going to see about getting this thing down. Now, I should get some people over to help me probably. Uh, but I mean, I. I I don't know what fun that would be. I think uh Yeah, I think that's good. All right? And then Yeah. Perfect. And then I think I bring this side around. Um Whoa. 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 Well, nope, that's not what we want. I think, uh, I think we wait. Because I think what'll happen, I was hoping I could turn it around, you know? And, uh, I probably can. And then I can set it down down there, you know what I mean? Uh, leave this side there, pull this side around, uh, but this side wants to drop off the truck. But I think if I got it turned around, 
I could set it down there pretty easy. I just wouldn't want it to get carried away. You know what I mean? There we go. It's not very heavy, but it is big. And I think, I think once it got a hold of me, it could pull me off the truck. Uh, I can move around down here. If I can keep turning it, then maybe I can just set it down and that side will stay up on the truck, you know? I just don't want to break it because Chuck does want to use it. It is pretty heavy, uh, you know, as far as it goes. It's too much for just me. All right, we're gonna need Chuck. If I could flick it over. All right, so I'll get, uh, which one do you want? The bottom or you wanna be up there? I'll be on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna go up there and get it turning like I did, and you grab your end, I'll try and keep my end on the truck. You want this ladder out of your way? I probably need it though. No, I'll stop right here. Alright. It won't be bad, because I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll hold the weight until, until you got it. This is the only bad thing, is once I get it over this here, can't nope, can't stand that, stand on that, stand on that middle. That thing's solid as a rock, dude, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. All right. So I'll get this off and, and, and bring it around and you get it. And then I'll get this one off. We got to make sure to. Oh, this is... Yeah, it's not bad. See, I'm just acting like a, a pivot up here. All right, now you hold it and I'll come down there with you. We'll just take it right off of there. This is not a handle, this thing. I'm using this as a handle up here. It's not one. All right, so uh, let's go. Yeah, let's continue going this way over there. All right. Oops. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to pull this this way and then we can use the exhaust as a pivot maybe uh, can you? what if we get on the inside of it well yeah maybe uh -uh. and be careful because this is raw fiberglass right so it's got needles I'm on this lip part right? all right if you grab that lip part and can walk it up. We gotta go, I gotta pick it up on my side. Yeah, this one which is. It's not horrible, it's not horrible. Yeah. But see, here's the problem. Yeah. I gotta pick up on my side, so you gotta pick up on your side too. Hang on, hang on. All right. I ain't got it worth shit. <laughs> the, exhaust, the exhaust will hold it. See, the exhaust has got it. Yeah. So, 
let's just use the exhaust uh, to, to spin it. Go down on that step. Let me let me hold this. Make it on the ground. Yeah, probably. Ha, don't worry about that. Shit's rotting. Okay, you got that? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna go above that exhaust. If you can't go down, you gotta hold it. I gotta go 10 inches up. All right, perfect, perfect. Well, went a little rougher than I thought, but once it started going, yeah, perfect. Make sure that's still recording. Yep, perfect. No, it, it all it did was creak and crack. You know, fiberglass is pretty damn tough. All right, so you want to just go right here with it? Yeah. I don't know how the hell we pick it up. Maybe uh, I take this end and you take that end. It's not very heavy. No. It's just awkward it's as hell. Heavy. All right, now we just need your trailer. Unless you want to carry it over there, but I think that's a long no. way. It's tough, man. Right here. Oh. Yeah. This, uh, the 92 and older plastic is uh, the weakest shit out there. This stuff right here, this is 94 and newer. It don't break. But that right there, you just touch it and you it snaps it right off. Yeah. That looks a lot better. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get, I'm going to do what I did to 13. Take these side fairings off and put step tanks on. Really? Yeah. People like them that way. They don't like those fairings because of what just happened. You, every time you, every time you go to get up there, it cracks a little bit more. Pretty soon there just won't be anything there. I think I'll, I think I might take these off. Yeah. Yeah, it was over, it was overpowering me by enough that it was uncomfortable. So I just let it ride. I knew it wouldn't break, break, because fiberglass is tough as shit. You have to bend it really far. Yeah. What do you think about that, guys? Look at that thing. Doesn't that look nice? Man, just look at it. Hooey. Yep. We get them uh, fairings off, get some more step tanks, and this truck will be ready to go to work. All right. All right, so look, we've done this before. We're going to do it again because, well, now that you can see the front of it, we need to get the front of that thing all sparkle buggy. We also got to get up here and put nuts on these bolts. So, it's just an ordinary SOS pad, but there's something in the, in the soap that makes, it responds well to rust. And, uh, oh, it's, it's not, So we're gonna do what we can. I mean, this thing is really, really rusty. Uh, we're gonna make it as less rusty as we can. We're gonna change this rain cap out as well to uh, something that's Nicer looking.
All right. Well, you can't see them. Yeah. Yeah. So that them parts I put in there were infested with ants, and I didn't know it. And so when I took them out, there was hundreds of ants. And so, where do you see them? Oh, they're crawling all over this. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to, somehow we need to... Well, this is a dust. Yeah, I don't think that's what we want. We want those traps. So they go in the little red cans and come out. Yeah, that looks like big shit, don't it? We're going to get one more SOS pad, see if we can make it look less shitty. So we decided to move this up here so I can be on the roof. We got to put these nuts on and stuff. And I want to do one more, one more SOS pad. This thing is wasted. But, you know, what are you going to do? You know, wish I had a stainless steel wheel I could bring up here and... But, it is what it is. All right. Well, that sucked. It's hot. Okay. I need a fat washer for those. Okay. I don't know if you were watching or not. Yep, cool.
coming. Phew. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take another inch off these mud flaps and then uh, redrill the holes. And I got more fasteners to right length, so we're just going to take those off, trim them up an inch, put them back on, and uh, remount them. Whew. This is a hot one today, boys and girls. I'll leave the bucket off, but you know, if I do that, it's going to start to rain. I also got to put a grommet on that pass through for the power cable because that's, uh, that's getting plenty annoying. That you missed it. So I put all four of these in there. Okay. I put one of these and one of these in there. Okay. I don't know what. I think just two of those would have been fine. Well, all right. Put the lid on the can. Good enough. I'm done for the day.